Minecraft has been out for years now, giving gamers endless hours of fun and has led to thousands of creations thanks to the game's diehard fans. But even the most insane of Minecraft fans don't know everything there is to know about the game's massive universe and the secrets of the game's development. Hi guys, I'm Stephanie with Arcade Cloud, and in today's video we are going to be taking a look at all the facts about Minecraft that you likely didn't know. Number 15, and on the seventh day, he rested. The Minecraft that we know today is a massive and expansive game, which is amazing considering how fast the first build of the game was made. Marcus Notch Person has gone on record as stating that the first build of Minecraft was completed in just six days. You heard right. Starting development on May 10th, 2009 and ending in May 16th. Even though this was a very early build of the game that lacks many of the features that we have come to love about Minecraft, this is not a lot of time to make any game, and yet way, way better than Duke Nukem Forever. Number 14. What the hell is Cave Game? Speaking of the first build of Minecraft, during the early stages of the game's development, the game went under the name of Cave Game. During the sixth development day cycle mentioned before, the game under went two more name changes, with Notch renaming the game Minecraft Order of the Stone and then just Minecraft, before the game's first public release on May 17, 2009. Bonus fact, the Order of the Stone name was later reused in Minecraft Story Mode as a name for a group of legendary adventurers. Number 13. Minecraft's Various Inspirations Much like Da Vinci had Mona Lisa, Stephen King had the Stanley Hotel, and Ride to Hell Retribution had Superman 64. Ouch. When creating Minecraft, Notch drew inspiration from all over the place. These sources included Theme Park Creation Simulator Roller Coaster Tycoon, the construction game Dwarf Fortress, and strategy game Dungeon Keeper. You can see where Notch borrowed from these titles in Minecraft's own creation mechanics, world exploration, and graphical design, and it's safe to say that Minecraft might never have existed if it weren't for these groundbreaking games. Even more obvious is the inspiration Notch drew from Infiniminer, a competitive game about destroying procedurally generated blocks. Ah, to stand on the shoulders of blocks boxy pixelated giants. Number 12, the glitch that changed the game. Minecraft's creepers are one of gaming's most well-known foes, as well as one of the most feared with the little bastard sneaking up on a player and their creations and just blowing away all their hard work. Now, the funny thing is that these little Satan hell spawns might never have existed if it wasn't for a programming error. That's right, the enemy that we all love to hate was the result of an error made by Notch as he was trying to create a pig. That little pig. When changing the height figures for the model of the pig, a glitch occurred, a glitch which ended up becoming the basis for what is now known as the Creeper. Number 11. An apple a day. Not only are people able to create their own worlds within Minecraft, but they are also able to create their own avatars that they are able to use within the game world and during online play. While every avatar is unique in their own right, as might be expected, Notch's online avatar is a feature that none of the others have. When an avatar is killed, they sometimes can drop materials and other items that can be pillaged by other people. Notch's avatar is no exception, except for one thing. When killed, Notch drops an apple. <laughs> Notch's avatar is the only one capable of dropping this item, giving his character just a small special touch that others can't have. Is this a biblical reference to the forbidden fruit taken from the tree of knowledge? Does Notch know something we don't? Or are we reading too much into this? Maybe he just likes apple pie. <laughs> Either way, all we know is that for the rest of us, no apples. Sorry. Number 10 building a nation. It takes some time and dedication to create the perfect world in Minecraft. It takes meticulous attention to detail to make the perfect creation, more so than most have. So could you imagine the kind of commitment it takes to create an entire real-life nation in Minecraft? Well, this is what the government of Denmark did, creating the entirety of their country brick by brick in Minecraft. The reason that they did this was to use it as a teaching tool, believing that through the use of Minecraft that they could get kids interested in geography. This might have worked too, except some jackasses decided to hack the server that Minecraft Denmark was on, blowing up the creation like that jerk on the beach that smashed your sandcastles when you were a kid into oblivion while laughing? Yeah, that's right, Mitch. From second grade, I haven't forgotten, okay? Number 9. Do your homework. 
Speaking of using Minecraft to learn, Minecraft is a part of a Swedish school's curriculum. At the Victor Rydberg Secondary School in Stockholm, Sweden, playing Minecraft is a required part of the learning experience for their 13-year-old students. The reason for this is to teach kids to use their imagination and creativity, while also teaching them about city planning and environmental issues. Now, if we can only find a valid reason to play Overwatch in schools, then we'd all be happy. Defend the objective. Mercy, I need healing. Hanzo, stop doing whatever it is that you're doing. See? There are skills that could be applied to real life. Number 8. The Far Lands Minecraft may seem like an endless expanse that the player can explore, but it isn't as infinite as it seems. At the far edges of the map, the terrain starts to glitch and become distorted. See that shadowy place? That's beyond our borders. You must never go there, Simba. This place has been dubbed by Notch as the Far Lands, and despite their glitchiness, Notch had no plans to patch the Far Lands as he determined that no one could ever make it that far. Well, as is the internet's penchant, when you tell them they can't do something, someone will try and do it anyway. After Notch made the aforementioned claim, gamer Kurt J. Mack started a more than three-year journey in search of the Farlands. While documenting his journey on YouTube, Mack's quest has done some good, raising a bunch of money for charity during live streams along the way. Number 7. Enderman Language Much like their inspiration, the urban legend Slenderman, the Endermen are some of the creepiest enemies you can encounter in any game, making disturbing and odd noises as they attack your player. As creepy as the sounds the Endermen make can be, the origin of their sounds is not as strange as you may think. The sounds that the Endermen make are, in reality, various phrases in the English language slowed down, distorted, and reversed. Knowing this doesn't make the Endermen any less frightening, however, as when the phrases are reversed back to normal English, they sound even more like the growlings of a demon than they did before. Number 6. Ghastly Cats If you find the origin of Endermen's language intriguing, it has nothing on the origins of the monsters known as Ghast. Daniel Rosenfield accidentally woke up his cat during a recording session, and a mic picked up the sound it made. While these sounds were going to be used for the ocelots in the game, the sounds the cat made were deemed to be too tame, and were instead given to the ghast, which made those enemies all the more adorable. Number 5. By the Numbers To date, nearly 26 million people have bought Minecraft for PC and Mac devices. This number does not take into account the number of sales for home consoles or mobile devices, and by itself is more than the population than the entirety of New York State. Also, it is estimated that at any given time, there are around 1 million people online playing Minecraft. That's a lot of bricks, people. Number 4. Minecraft on YouTube If you ever wondered how to make content that will get viewed on YouTube, making Minecraft videos is definitely the way to go. According to a 2014 article by the website Tubular Insights, Minecraft videos on YouTube have garnered a combined 31 billion views. Yes, that's billion with a B as in boy. This outranks any other popular game on the website, with number 2 Grand Theft Auto falling behind by nearly 20 billion views. These numbers have grown since, and with the limitless potential for creating new content in the game, it shows no signs of slowing down. Number 3. Getting the Message Anyone who has played Minecraft knows that on the start screen for the game, a little yellow message will accompany the title with witty little lines such as, Treatment for your rash, among others. There are over 350 of these little splash messages messages that can appear when you boot up the game, with even more having been added through updates. This makes it likely that you will find a new message every time you boot up the game, and makes Minecraft kind of like your little, I don't know, souped up video game version of those quote a day calendars or your personal fortune cookie. Number 2. Bouncing Beyonce Many people are aware that Microsoft had bought the Minecraft brand from Creator Notch for a whopping $2.5 billion, but do you know what Notch ended up doing with that money? For $70 million out of what he earned, Notch bought himself a manor in Hollywood reminiscent of a mini castle. Huh, that must be really nice. Notch earned this enormous domicile by outbidding none other than Beyonce and Jay-Z for the place. Yes, that Beyonce and Jay-Z. The fact that we live in a world where a man who created a video game in six days can outbid one of the biggest recording artists of all time for anything at all is just really awesome. Number 1. It all started with a tweet So what was the catalyst that led Notch to selling to Microsoft and as a result outbidding Beyonce and Jay-Z for his Hollywood mansion? Well, it all started with a simple tweet. Claiming that he had had enough of corporate bullshit, Notch sent out a tweet in June of 2014 stating that he was gauging interest in a potential buyout for his shares in company Mojang stocks. This was the first time he had stated this publicly. Three months later, Microsoft came knocking on the door with the cool $2.5 billion offer and well the rest is now gaming history there you have it folks the minecraft facts that you probably didn't know do you have any little known or obscure facts that you know or minecraft stories you want to share 
Let us know in the comments below. And if you like this video, be sure to slap a like on it. And if you want to see more content like this, smack that subscribe button to be the first to know when new videos will be dropping. And be sure to like us on Facebook. You'll find the link below. Thanks for watching.